This is Damon Stevens with Wealth Builders. Today is Monday, October 18th, 2021, and this is a stock market update for trades for the day. Uh, hopefully, you're able to catch our video on Sunday to prep for today, and hopefully, you found that profitable for you. Uh, looking at our stocks today, we see the market. Uh, Dow Jones closed down 0.1%, so it's barely down. Uh, NASDAQ was up 0.84% and S&P 500 up 0.34%. So uh, definitely a green day. You can see our FANG stocks did very well today. Uh, you can see tech is where the money was, uh, definitely from our heat map here. You see that overall uh, in the world map that uh, there's a lot of, lot of stocks that are down. So uh, just something to be aware of. Uh, the, the BABA pulled back a little as well on China. Uh, so, oops, sorry about that. Let me uh, go ahead and get rid of that for you. Sorry about that. All right. So, um, so where's that? Where does that leave us? So, where it leaves us is uh, we got utilities down, healthcare is down, consumer defense is down, real estate was down. Uh, banks, though, I mean, we were looking for banks to to give us a run here. Uh, you know, it's overall pretty well flat. Uh, looking for some direction here. So as we're looking at uh, where the market's going this week, we have earnings coming out. Uh, banks were big today. Uh, tomorrow, we have some others that we'll be talking about uh, here in near future. But looking at uh, the heat map or, or the map here where we have uh, our scanners, IO and Valen, B-A-L-N, uh, were our tops. Uh, I did not trade these today. I had so many on my list today. Uh, when you have so many on your list, you can only watch so many stocks. Uh, but if you did catch this one, then great. It did pop up on the scanner. I uh, gave you a couple entries in, gapped up from 130, hit a high of 214, back back down to the 10, back up to over two, and then back down to the 20. And you see it, it bumped on that 20 several times here and then ran back up to 20 uh, to 2021. So you, you had a few chances in here, but it really is small. So I, I really didn't trade this today. It's same with HX. Um, HX I did not get, but it was, uh, you know, I should have caught this today. It was on my, uh, it was on my Friday's list. And you see here that it gave us another ramp up today from 550 to 7, 708. So we're going to be watching this again for tomorrow to see if we get another pop up here. It is following our trend line. So uh, that is good. Earnings, you can see here from our earnings map here on Monday, uh, close, the day, close the day, lots of maps, nothing impressive here. I just wanted to get a general sense of, you know, was finance strong or not strong? Um, and how does that affect the rest of the market and the rest of the uh, earnings? So you see here, the real big ones I'm really looking for, is especially um, after close tomorrow is Netflix. We're on Wednesday, we have Tesla, IBM and Sands. Thursday, we have a mix of uh, retail, uh, travel, and uh and food and so uh and tech so just gonna look on thursdays really get my big day and then friday so just keep an eye on those uh when they come up here you can see really good day for the tech sectors i said all these stocks we track daily i might have them on my charts on a daily basis uh, for trading uh, but you see here that uh, netflix did well uh tesla uh, gapped up here and, and did well you know we talked about it uh, you know hitting these $20 blocks, 840, which it did to, on Friday to uh, 860. And it actually blew through my 860, almost went right up to 880. So it blew right through that as far as what my estimate was, which is great. I mean, that's fine, um, but uh, this is heavily elevated. Um, so it makes me wonder on a turnaround Tuesday, is this gonna pull back a little bit? Cause we do have a gap now to fill. Uh, you know, does it fill a gap or does it keep going? Because earnings just comes out another day. So if we run up here to 900, I'd expect some type of pullback because it looks like a pre-running to the earnings. Um, so uh, I'd expect it, but you know, it could blow through to, to new highs. You know, people are talking about $1,100 on Tesla. And I think with all the uh, solar and all the other things that Tesla's doing, I mean, it's a possibility, but you know, they've had some supply issues as well. So uh, really mixed on this, uh, where it's going to go. So definitely watching it close on earnings. Uh, if you look at Adobe, Adobe gave us a nice run. So a nice run up here uh, today. So uh, looking for a continuation here as well. Uh, so, you know, Adobe's looking uh, strong here and bullish. Apple, you know, pull back up here. We talked about trying to get back over uh, 450, uh, 150. 
uh, it uh, it's definitely headed that way. It's uh, got to 140, almost 147. Uh, so we'll see if it continues up and gets over that uh, 150. If it does, we'll continue to run back up and we got a large run here ahead of us if we can get up back above there. Uh, Amazon, Amazon second day run. Uh, we talked about this gap that we had. It filled half the gap today. Uh, didn't quite get through the whole gap. So we'll see tomorrow if it can get through the gap and get up through this resistance level at 34.87. If it does, we have some more uh, lines up here as well. But uh, definitely a strong run on uh, Amazon today. So that's great. Uh, NVIDIA, NVIDIA, we've been uh, we've been trading this one and tracking it for months. Uh, you can see here it gave us a nice run, got it past the resistance we talked about. So uh, definitely you're looking to see that to run up here to 230 if it can, as long as the market keeps it. Uh, Moderna, we had a nice pull up here on Friday. I was looking for a continuation to get over that 20 in this resistance, but it pulled back a little bit here. But then it did close above the 10. So looking for a uh, you know, continuation play to the north tomorrow, as long as the market doesn't have a turnaround Tuesday to where the market pulls back a little bit after a strong run. Um, Tuesday seemed like the day it does that. Uh, NVAX uh, flattened this channel pretty well. So just keep an eye on that. The dollar sitting here above the 20, but sitting here pretty well flat as well. The VIX uh, is sitting here right on our support line here. So you see that it had support several times uh, prior and it stays down there. So long as it stays down there, the market can continue to rally. If it gets below this support line, it really can rally. Um, we'll probably see new highs if it can get below uh, 16 and hold. So uh, definitely keep an eye on that. Uh, SPY, you see here we have this gap. It didn't fill this gap. Almost fill the gap and, uh, you know, close enough for some maybe. Does it have to go back to that? Not necessarily. But you can see here that uh, that the SPY is closed above this support, this uh, resistance line now support. So we're gonna see if it can run up here uh, to new highs. Uh, but uh, you know, with this gap up, does it come back and fill that gap? It's hard to say, but uh, it's possible. Q's sitting right at this resistance level we had. Uh, so as if we can break through there, we can continue on uh, the nice bull run that the triple Q's has. So looking for a continuation there. Smash house, so, so semiconductors, it's a nice run up here. We got resistance just ahead of it, didn't quite make it today. Uh, we also have a gap above that, so we'll see if it continued to run through uh, that resistance line and uh, fill that gap for us. Uh, IWM, a nice run on rally on Friday, uh, and then pulled back today to our support line here that was right in the middle of this, uh, this wedge here. So that's a failed breakout right there. Um, and so we'll see if it can find support and rally back up again uh, and not fall back through the, the floor here. Uh, financially we talked about nice and flat today. So it wasn't an exciting earnings a day uh, for me anyway, but um, nice and flat at least. Didn't see any major pullbacks. Silver uh, is pulling back here a little bit, just sitting uh, between these and moving averages. Um, gold. Gold is flat as well. Uh, Bitcoin, you see here is flat. Um, should it either, it's either build, got to build momentum to get up towards that next level here around 65,000 uh, or break down. But right now you can see they had a nice run over the weekend, settled out, and now we're just kind of sitting here flat. Ethereum pulled back a little bit to the support line we have here. Uh, and this half this, you know, almost a little bit more than half this uh, breakup candle. So we'll see if it can hold here and rally back up. So obviously, this is a nice resting period. Uh, um, Shibu uh, had a nice pullback after this uh, record run, and it's just kind of consolidating here. So looking for energy to move that up forward. So uh, crypto's, you know, holding, holding its own right now. Um, looking, I'm just looking for it to break back up above these lines, my resistance lines to get back in these trades. Otherwise, I'm kind of holding a little bit, uh, and most of my cash is on the side for my cryptos. Looking for opportunities to to uh, to move it again. Uh, and so, stocks uh, we got a lot on, on our watch list in the morning. Uh, definitely take, a, take pay attention to these uh, earnings. Uh, so, uh, before the bell, we have Johnson Johnson, um, uh, HAL, and uh, PNG that we're watching. So, looking for potential movements there, but that's pre-market we're gonna be watching. So if you're not watching pre-market, uh, well then watch after hours for, after uh, during the day for pullbacks uh, for possible entries in. 
uh, but stay safe out there. Be careful with these earnings. Uh, there's a lot of volatility, but that's great. I love earnings seasons because uh, it's a great time to get to some huge profits. Uh, so stay safe out there and we'll talk tomorrow night. And we'll cover more uh, then of uh, what our trades were for the day. Have a great night.